Hey everyone, it's Joe Isaiah here from the Automator. And we, if you're running V2, and I guess sometimes with V1, Auto Hockey will get unassociated to its extension, or it'll get changed to where it's to editing with often with site, not always, but and so we're not, we haven't put our finger on the trip, the trouble, why it happens, but often now it happened to me a couple times, and I know it's happened to some of our hero members several times, of they go to launch something and then it doesn't run and and sometimes site will open and which, which I think a lot of us have seen like, Oh, it's, it's removed the, the run. And now the run is now the edit kind of command, right? Like it, yeah, it it's weird. It annoying. So we have a solution here. What one, two things, one is what you should do. And two is if you want, you can grab our script. If you don't have V2 to, um, to run this for yourself. So go ahead. Right. Let me demonstrate exactly what Joe mentioned. So right now, whenever I double click on any of the scripts that I have, they will open with auto hotkey normally because I have auto hotkey installed. Sometimes an editor, or if you did this, you can set this to always open with notepad instead, for example. And what would happen is that if now you double click on a script, it's not going to run. It's going to open with the editor. What we have noticed is that site for example, sometimes resets the association and now all your files, whenever you double click open site instead of running the script. And this is what fixes this. If you install um, our hotkey v2, it comes with a UX folder that comes with the reset association script. And <laughs> Granted, you cannot double click it because it would open with whatever editor you have. But what you can do now is just drag and drop that into the AutoHotKey UX executable that is there. And when once you do that, your file associations will be reset and you can see the icons change back to AutoHotKey. Now, what if you don't have AutoHotKey v2 installed? If you have AutoHotKey v1, you don't have this script. And even if you had it, you know, if I give you this script, what is going to happen is that it's not going to run in v1 because this script is only for v2. So what we did is that we compiled it and we have it as a, it's the same file. We just compiled it in 32 bit mode. And now if you double click on this, so if I go ahead and set this to open with notepad again. So if I set it to notepad again, and I go ahead and reset the associations with the executable, it should do the same. It should just reset it, and now you're back to where it was. So that's what we're doing. This, again, as Joe said, we don't know exactly how site or other editors or what is happening is changing your files associations. But in V2, we already have the solution of just run the script, and it would reset it back to what it's supposed to be. Yeah, so uh, give us a thumbs up if that helps you out. It's a wild west right now with v2 with editors of just vs code's amazing but it's it's the ferrari right and like <laughs> site for auto hockey is great right. but also doesn't have some stuff we have a, a v2 version of studio um and we're going to at some point make a a simple thing that isaiah thought up was like we should be able to say hey if the script is v2 run the v2 or of studio if it's v1 open it in the v1 version of studio right now we have them separate because we don't have the intellisense for both um, we also have a great script which i'll put the url up here for changing your editors, edit swap, I think is what it's called. Right? Yes, that's right. So it makes it very easy to change your default editor for auto hockey, but um, awesome. Hope that helps and see you soon. Cheers. Bye.